Storm Team Weather. Here's meteorologist Aaron Ayers, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. All right, welcome back, everyone. Aaron, how are we looking this week? Well, things are looking nice, but changes are coming for us in our seven-day forecast, which we'll get to in just a minute. But right now in San Angelo, we're sitting at 43 degrees with the south wind at three miles per hour. Today, what we saw in the Almanac data, we got up to 66 today, our average high right around 73 degrees, so a little bit cooler than where we normally are this time of year. Our record of 92 set back in 2017, our low this morning of 38, definitely lower than what we normally see this time of year. So as we go looking at the graph for the last 24 hours here at Mathis Field, the temperature wise coming down into the 40s, starting out in the 40s early this morning, and this graph climbs into the mid 60s for us this afternoon, and we're stair stepping back down into the low 40s for us as we go into the overnight hours. Current temperatures right now across the state 42 in Amarillo, 45 in Abilene, 42 in Waco, 43 here in San Angelo. Let's get a little bit tighter here on the Concha Valley and take a look at temperatures across the Concha Valley. Many of us in those 40s. 47 in Barnhart, 43 in San Angelo, 44 in Wall, 45 in Ballinger. So many of us in the 40s for us overnight tonight and we will see temperatures get just a little bit cooler. Increasing clouds for us as we go into Sunday, increasing rain chances as we go into next week and then cold front by the end of next week and don't forget to turn those clocks back tonight. I've got a certain song in my head right now and I kind of want to sing it but I'm not going to. So with that we'll take a look at our water vapor. Increasing water vapor, increasing moisture from the west that will increase our clouds for us as we go into the overnight hours. And you can see some of those clouds showing up on our clouds and radar here. Those are starting to stream into southwestern Texas, and I expect those to come into our area overnight tonight. So kind of expect those to start to filter in here overnight. As we plan into our Sunday, expect temperatures to get close to 70 degrees by the afternoon. Mostly cloudy conditions for us for much of our Sunday, but you'll see peaks of sunshine every now and then on your Sunday. Let's look at this on our future cast here across the Concho Valley. Looking early Sunday morning at 2 a.m., temperatures in the 40s as we roll into Sunday morning at 8 a.m., some patchy clouds here. Here and there throughout the Concho Valley, temperatures getting close to 50 degrees for us by 8 a.m. Then we're in the 70s by Sunday afternoon. More clouds possible here in the Concho Valley as we roll into Sunday into Monday. More clouds for us by Monday morning at 8.30 in the morning. More clouds, temperatures in the 60s for us as we go into Monday. And as we roll into Monday evening, temperatures coming into the 60s for us. Tonight, we get down to 40 degrees, mostly clear and cool conditions. Winds out of the east at five miles per hour. And for your Sunday, 70 degrees where we're expected to be by the afternoon hours, mostly cloudy and mild for us. Winds out of the south-southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. The next five days here in the Concho Valley will look like this with temperatures close to 70 degrees on Sunday. Don't forget to set those clocks back tonight before you go to bed. Monday looking a little bit warm, partly cloudy. Next cold front comes through on Thursday into Friday. Some rain chances could be possible with that as it comes through. Looking very nice as we go into next weekend. And of course, tonight ends daylight saving time. So don't forget to set those clocks back to 1 a.m. at 2 in the morning if you're up that early. If not, do it before you go to bed. We'll be right back on KSAN News.